it's, it's pretty outrageous uh, on, on one of the main buildings here in the city of Brockton, you know, one of the more beautiful buildings here in the city of Brockton, somebody would go out and uh, to face it like they did. So I, I think that, that's outrageous behavior and uh, needs to be, the person that did that needs to be held accountable. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's where we come to settle disputes. It's not where we come to create them and create additional problems in the area. So, you know, obviously there are many times there are cases here every day where people aren't happy with results. But you can't really take that into your own hands and grab spray paint and go around the building and potentially cost thousands of dollars to the removal now when, at a time when we don't have the money. The Brockton police got a call that he was here, uh, that somebody was here. They came down here, they made observations of the individual with... Uh, with, with red Kansas uh, spray paint in their hands and in nearby. Well, there are other ways that you can protest decisions you're not happy with in court, and you can go back to court in front of judges and ask for reconsideration or additional motions. This is not the way to do that sort of activity, and now he's now committed a crime. And as a result of that, he's going to be facing uh, the penalties that usually go along with convictions of that crime. And I fully anticipate that we'll prosecute this case to the fullest extent of the law, and we'll see what happens from there.